Okay, everybody can hear me. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It is three o'clock in the UK. That was the arranged time for this um, hangout. It's going to take about an hour long. It was pretty short notice. I haven't really been um, advertising or marketing this throughout the week. I only sent my link out and an email out just um, late last night or even first thing this morning, and it may have gone out to you. So um, I'm hoping to do this, uh, depending on Ray, every either every week or every two weeks, or there may be an odd session in the middle of the week, but uh, hopefully around this time, three or four o'clock. And um, for all the new people, anyway, guys, you, you know, for all the new people who don't know me, I'm based in, um, in Cardiff, in South Wales, in the UK, that is. And uh, my background is mainly property, okay? I made my first million pounds in property between 2001 and 2008. So, um, Obviously, I've been a millionaire in the past, as they say, but only in the last two years, um, well, three years actually, I got involved within the likes of cryptocurrency, okay, and uh, other precious metals, um, gold and silver as well. But I've made more money in the last sort of two years within the crypto space than I have in the last 20 years uh, within the property space. So I'm more excited now about sort of cryptocurrency and precious metals than I am about properties. So I like to diversify my, my assets, as they say. But I'm um, just going to be adding uh, another, um, another business um, venture to my portfolio, and that's going to be the, the presentation today. It's going to take an hour long, which mainly involves silver and, uh, and Bitcoin as well. You can withdraw any, any commissions or profit into Bitcoin, which is a great thing. That's why that's what I love about this. I met up with Ray last week in Luton. There's, there's a two-week event every Wednesday in Luton. I'm going to be attending this one coming on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. If you want to meet me in Luton for this Wednesday as well. So um, I'm going to be adding this to my, to my portfolio because the plan is I'm, I'm, I'm overexposed within uh, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. I've got around $8 million uh, right now within, um, within the cryptocurrency space. For you guys that have been following me, let me just show my camera here. I know the Bitcoin price is not far off $10,000 right now. So as you can see, guys, I've got around about eight point, nearly $9 million in Bitcoin. Uh, I'm starting to get a bit concerned. I think I'm all, well overexposed and um, I want to start moving a lot of this into, into precious metals, mainly silver, a bit of gold as well, but mainly silver. Okay, and that's the reason for this um, new business venture that I'm, that I'm adding to my portfolio to um, scale up and up my game when it comes to holding and uh, acquiring silver. So I'm going to introduce you to Ray. Ray's the expert on this. I think he's been doing this about nine years. He's made millions of dollars already in this space. And um, Ray's going to do a presentation, and then we'll come back for Q&A at the end of the presentation. Okay, Ray, so over to you. And if you want to start off by telling, telling people a little bit about yourself, and then obviously go into your, into your screen share. So over to you, Ray. Thanks a lot. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you, uh, uh, Adrian. I hope everyone can uh, hear me okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's great to be with you. Uh, and as Adrian said, I met Adrian a, a couple of weeks back at our Luton meeting, um, and Adrian brought some people along. Uh, who also saw the opportunity that I'm about to share with you uh, and have joined Adrian's team. I've been with the company that I'm going to introduce you to for about nine years, as Adrian said. Um, I've been very successful across my career um, uh, in network marketing, uh, which is one just one of three or four careers that I've had. Um, my other businesses are software, uh, and I have, like Adrian, I, I, I built a, a huge property portfolio, um, mainly out of the proceeds of network marketing. And uh, what I'm going to share with you today is the business that I've been working with for the last nine years and who I believe are probably the best uh, company out there, uh, bar none. Uh, that's a matter of opinion, of course. Um, so without sort of dragging it out too far, um, as Adrian said, we'll do a question and answer session at the end. Um, and I'm going to crack on and just uh, share my screen um, and introduce you to uh, what Adrian wants us to uh, go through this evening. So I presume you can all see that. Can you see that, Adrian? Yeah, that's, that's brilliant, Ray. All good. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. So the question that we ask everyone is, why save silver? As you heard uh, earlier, um, silver is the thing that's going to be uh, discussed here. So why save silver? Well, before I get onto that, I'm legally bound to uh, make a disclaimer that neither Mint Builder, the company I'm going to discuss, nor any independent agent promoting the products offered by Mint Builder are authorized to give financial advice. The information you see here is for information purposes only. I'm required by the FCA to, to put that there for you. Incredible fact number one, 4.3 million households in the UK, which equates to more than 11% of all adults in the UK today, have no savings of any kind. That's frightening. That's terrifying. 
Furthermore, by 2050, the difference between what people will save and what they will need to save to enjoy a reasonable standard of living in retirement will be an enormous 350 billion. And that's an increase of nearly 32 billion on similar estimates just five years ago. So if you imagine it's gone up in 30, 32 billion in the last five years, where's it gonna be in five years or 10 years or even 20 years when perhaps you know your children are coming towards retirement age? And the reality of that is that even accounting for auto enrollment, the pension scheme and a rising state retirement age, unless we're willing to liquidate our assets like our homes or work on until we drop, we're going to have to put away on average an extra £10,000 a year to avoid a miserable old age, which frankly, even for higher earners, may prove next to impossible. And there was a fantastic article in The Telegraph um, entitled, There's a Danger of a Generation Who Can't Afford to Retire. And that generation is some people in, in this generation who are now looking at the time in the next 10 or 15 years, uh, and certainly your children's generation. What most people save is paper and metal money, which is issued by the government via the Bank of England. A lot of people think the Bank of England is a government organization, it's not, it's a private bank. And how most people save is that the vast majority give their hard earned paper and metal money to the banks for safekeeping. But is this a good plan? When we know that most high street banks offer extremely low interest rates for savers, Lloyd's 0.35%, Barclays 0.2%, NatWest, HBC, the big four, all under 0.3%. So in my view, it's not a great plan for achieving long-term wealth when you look at it. So what is money? Well, it's just paper with no intrinsic value. It's an IOU issued by the Bank of England and nothing more. And in fact, there was a, an article in The Guardian uh, a couple of years ago, uh, 2014, where the Bank of England issued a white paper stating that all the banknotes were just IOUs and that the Bank of England was swimming with them. And you can still download that white paper from the Bank of England website even now. It's still there and the Bank of England even admit that they're just IOUs and they have no intrinsic value. And the thing about this money is that it's been losing its value since the day it was created. The UK pound has lost over 40% of its purchasing power since 1986. Um, and these aren't my figures. You can go to the source that I quoted there, Market, Market Oracle, and you can see that for yourself. So over the last sort of 30 years, 40% of the value has been wiped off the pound. And the sharp eye amongst you will notice three dots there, 1998, 2004, 2014. Well, why are they there? Well, in 1998, you could have bought 20 pounds worth of shopping and put that in your shopping trolley. Within six years, just six years, the UK pound had lost 7% of its purchasing power. So now you either had to spend more of the pound to get the same shopping, or you had to settle for less shopping with the same 20 pounds note. But by 2014, the UK pound had, had devalued by a further 25%. So now you had to pay a lot more to get the same amount of shopping as you did in 1998, or accept a lot less shopping. So over that period of time, it's a fact that the UK pound had lost 32% of its value in that time. But by comparison, silver doesn't decrease in value. Let's look at that. 1971, the price of petrol was 34 pence a gallon. Remember those days. The price of silver was 55 pence per troy ounce. Troy ounce is 31.2 grams. So your one ounce of silver in 1971 was worth 1.61 gallons of petrol. Okay. Now let's roll forward to 2018. The price of petrol is 4.85 a gallon, or five pounds in some cases, and the price of silver today is 12 pounds and 13 per troy ounce. So today, that same ounce of silver, had you bought it in 1971, would grant you 2.51 gallons of petrol, even at today's prices. If you bought silver, it's still 2.51 gallons of petrol in terms of value. So we can see that silver doesn't decrease in value, it increases in value, as all precious metals do. And this illusion of money losing its value is actually deflation. The cost of goods is not going up. The value of the paper money is decreasing and it's decreasing daily. I often quote this example that in the 1960s, you could have bought a three bedroom house in Stoke-on-Trent for around 
4,000 pounds or 23.4 ounces of gold. Today, that, that house is about 150, 160,000 pounds, but the same 23.4 ounces of gold will buy that house today as it did in the 1960s. The cost of things isn't going up. The value of the paper money is going down. So you need more of the paper money to buy the same thing. It's a fact that the value of the paper boys, paper's money is going down the toilet. And it's not just the UK, it's happening all over the world to every paper currency. We know, in, we've read in the news about Venezuela, Greece, Cyprus. Many of you don't know that Tobago's economy has just trashed. Bolivia is on the brink. Portugal is on the brink. Spain is on the brink. Because this v paper money is devaluing all the time and it's unsustainable in the long term. And the banks know this. So they dress this currency devaluation up as inflation so that you don't actually see what's happening. It's a trick. And we know that by saving for the future with silver, this actually beats what they call inflation because it doesn't devalue as we saw earlier. And it's done this for over 5,000 years. And the same cannot be said for their paper money. It, it devalues, whereas gold and silver, particularly silver, increases in value. So let's take a quick look at how saving paper or metal bank money versus saving silver would have performed in recent years. But before we begin, I want you to know how we calculated these returns. So we use a website called Measuring Worth, and you can go to Measuring Worth and say, this is the year, I've got this much money, and I put it in the bank for this amount of time, what do I get at the end of it? And it will work out all the compound interest going backwards. So these are not my figures, these are from Measuring Worth. So let's take a trip back in time to the year 2002. Just to give a reminder of what happened in 2002, Arsenal did the double, uh, and as an Arsenal fan, uh, I say get in. Petrol costs £3.50 a gallon. Remember those days, £3.50 a gallon. And silver at the time in 2002 was £3.31 per ounce in the UK. All right. And let's say you had £10 in 2002 and two options. The first option is that like millions of other ordinary folk, you could have entrusted your £10 to your bank while hoping for a good return. And after leaving your £10 in the bank for a total of 15 years, you would have hoped it would have grown substantially. Now, I imagine that in your mind, you're kind of trying to calculate what sort of compound interest you would have earned on your 10 pounds over that period of time. Well, the facts are, proven by measuringworth.com, is that after 15 years, 2002 to 2017, the bank would have handed you 19 pounds and 15 pence, which would include your original 10 pounds deposit so your interest earned over 15 years would have been £9.15. Now, some of you may think that's a good return. I don't know. Personally, I don't think that's a great return. Certainly, the money isn't working for me. And I think it's made even worse by the fact that the banks are lending your money out to other people that's extortionate interest rates and making more money off your money than you're making yourself. So now we know the result of putting paper money into a bank. How did saving silver perform over the same 15-year period? Well, remember, it's 2002, and because they were £3.31 an ounce, you could have bought three silver one-ounce coins, just like these ones, okay? And if you'd have sold your silver in 2017, 15 years later, you would have received £74.47, which does include your original £9.93 spent. So as you can see, immediately, just as a put-it-away-and-leave-it-alone plan, Silver performed much, much better over that 15-year period than just leaving your paper money in the bank. So there's, it's an example of, of converting your money into a tangible asset and letting the tangible asset do the money growth work for you. So the question is, which is the best way to say? Well, you put your £10 in the bank, wait 15 years, you get £19.15. But exchange that £10 note, you're not exactly spending money, you're converting one form of currency into a store of wealth is what you're doing. You'd have spent £9.93, left it 15 years, and yet last year you would have been able to sell that silver for £74.47. So clearly, putting your money into silver in this example would have been a better path. So what do you think the smart savers do? Do you think they put paper and metal money in the bank? Or 
do you think they convert that paper and metal money into precious metals, amongst other things, and then they wait for the price to rise? Well, of course they do. They wait for the price to rise. It's a fact that rich people plan for three generations. Poor people plan for Saturday night. How many times have you heard friends or family saying, oh, I'm going out Saturday night, I'm really excited by that. I'm going down the pub or I'm going out for a meal or whatever. How many times do you see your family saying, I've got a hundred pounds, I'm gonna put this into this asset um, so that I'm planning for my children and my grandchildren and their children. You rarely hear that. But this is what rich people do. They plan for three generations. Poor people plan for Saturday night. And some of you may know this guy, Robert Kiyosaki. He said this, it's not about how much money you make, but how much money you keep. It's about how hard it works for you and how many generations you keep it for. I'm just re-listening to the Cashflow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. And he said something, I've, re- I've listened to that book eight times now, but he said something this time that really made me stand up and think. He said, the value of your wealth is not measured in money. Your wealth is measured in time. And what he meant by that is that, yes, you can make loads and loads of money, but it's how long you keep it for. It's how long it will last before it runs out that gives you the value of your wealth. And I'd never realized that before until I listened to that a few weeks back and and listened to it again. And it came home to me that actually, it's about the length of time your wealth keeps you and your family and your generations. So when saving silver, you need a three-phase strategy or we recommend a three-phase strategy. You need a short, medium and long-term strategy. But why do you need three strategies? Well, you need a short to medium-term strategy for liquidity. In other words, you need to put your paper money into something that allows you to get out of that thing fairly quickly should you need to. Okay. And for that short term, medium term liquidity, liquidity, we recommend bullion coins and bars. Okay. So a lot of people say, what is bullion? Well, bullion is simply loose gold or silver in the form of coins or bars sold in various weights and sizes. So it can be one ounce Britannia's, 10 ounce koalas, one ounce bars, one kilo bars, you know, one gram, 10 gram gold bars. It's just various coins and bars in various weights and sizes. That's what bullion is. And for a long-term strategy, we recommend something called fine graded mint coins. Now, if you don't know what they are, I'm going to explain what they are in a moment, but these can really build your long-term wealth if you know them and understand them. And there are some very, very well-known people who collect these such as Warren Buffett, Richard Branson, uh, Nick Cage, Cage, the actor, lots of people, Microsoft, um, uh, Paul Allen, they all buy fine graded mean coins because they understand it's a long-term wealth builder. So you need bullions, coins and bars for your short to medium term and your long-term fine graded mean coins. So what is a fine graded mean coin, I hear you ask? Well, these are pure gold and silver coins that have been graded and certificated for quality. And they're often produced in limited mintages, okay? And in grading a coin, there are 70 points of perfection. The grading system looks at 70 different elements, ranging from purity of the silver to the quality of minting and fineness of impression to give an overall score or mint state. And an MS-70 is a perfect coin. Once graded, uh, the grading company produced a certificate stating the score, the mint state of the coin, and some other details, including the barcode sheet, which is, as you will see later on, that barcode is very, very, very important. And that certificate is sealed into the case with the coin. Uh, The case uh, seals and protects the coin. Once a coin's been graded, certificated, it's sealed in in this airtight case, or what we call a slab. Uh, And this protects it from tampering or from degrading the quality from human handling. Those of you who have owned silver in the past will know that uh, the the human skin can tarnish uh, silver. So obviously to keep it in pristine condition, these uh, sealed cases are airtight. And an MS-17 coin has achieved the highest score possible for any coin, meaning it will have a much higher value in the long term to a collector or a buyer. And here at Mint Builder, we only ever, ever supply MS-70 coins to our customers and our members. Who are NGC? Well, NGC are the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation. It is spelled correctly. It's the way the Americans spelled it. They're the largest and the most respected coin graders in the world. What do they do? Well, they grade and certificate coins from all over the world to assure quality, purity, and fineness of mintage. And they're consulted by all the world's major auction houses 
to grade and valuing coins such as Bonhams, Phillips, uh, and all those Sotheby's and all those guys. So, how does NGC protect you? Well, unfortunately, there are many fake graded coins being sold online today. This is actually a coin uh, that I found on eBay. Uh, it purports to be a Chinese 10 yuan panda, uh, an MS70 coin. There's a number on it, but when I punch that into uh, my NGC app on my phone, and that's my actual screenshot from my phone, uh, NGC graded a coin and gave it the certificate number, but it wasn't a Chinese panda. They graded a 27 wedge-tailed eagle which is an australian coin so by using the ngc app and checking things before you buy them they ensure that you're buying only coins that are graded and certified by them the ngc app is free and you can scan and check your coins in seconds you, it will scan the barcode and you can also track the value of any coin minted in the united states of america and i know they have plans to open that up to uh, valuing world coins as well where are NGC based? Well, they're based out of their corporate headquarters in Sarasota in Florida in the USA, which is less than 20 minutes from Mint Builders head office in Sarasota, Florida. Um, and over the last uh, nine years, Mint Builders founders, Matt and Vince have built a fantastic relationship with the founder, current CEO of uh, NGC. Uh, and that has an impact on the coins that we bring to the members, and which I'll explain later on. So why save fine-graded mint coins? Why would you save them? Well, fine-graded mint coins can have up to three values. These coins are always 0.999 pure silver or 999 pure gold, which is 24 karat. And so the value of the metal is part of the value of the coin. In this example here, this Thor coin, it's a one ounce uh, silver coin, a one troy ounce silver coin. The second value is the collectible value. We only supply perfect MS70 coins that are interesting and which look to have a great yield in the future, which is where NGC come in because of our relationship with them. They recommend coins to us that they believe are going to have great value yield in the future, such as limited mint runs and special designs or certificates. Even a certificate can add value to a coin. Uh, another layer of interest is the franchise value. In, this, in the case of this coin, which many of our members have got, um, it's got an interest to the collectors of the Marvel Comics and Thor franchises. And that is, adds in that third layer of interest for those people who collect that franchise. Okay? Anyone who's ever been to Comic-Con in the US or Comic-Con in the uh, United Kingdom, you'll know that this whole sort of comic genre is huge, huge, huge. And those collectors will pay tens of thousands for things if they're the right thing. So a coin with a franchise value is always going to be... Uh, have that added collectability value. So why is it that a graded fine mint coin always costs more than a similar loose bullion coin? Well, in a bullion coin, 94% of it is down to the, down to the metal. Uh, and there's about 6% distribution, marketing, advertising, retail. Okay. Whereas with a graded coin, about 28% of it is the cost of the metal or 64% of it is down to the grading process because it's a manual process. You can't grade a coin with a machine. It takes about three years to train somebody to become a coin grader. Um, and, and NGC often say it takes a lifetime to learn it properly. Um, so there's a manual cost in the grading. And then you've got a slightly higher cost of distribution, marketing and, and resale. So you can buy a graded coin for about 102 pounds from us uh, and uh, a, a one ounce bullion coin for about 21 pounds and 10 pence. Um, and we'll come on to that in a minute because there's something you should know about that. But let's ask the question, if you're paying more for these coins, do they actually really increase greatly in their value? Well, let's take a look at this coin, which I found recently on NGC's World Coin Shop because they sell collectible graded coins as well. In 1993, the price of silver was $3.94 an ounce. The cost of this coin would have been around $350. So over the last 24 years, the value of this coin has increased by over 1100%. Just think about that for a minute. 1100% in 24 years. So this coin recently sold for $4,069. Could you ever get that kind of return from putting paper money into the bank? I think the answer is no. Is that an, a rare example? No. Another coin that I found is on the same day, just looking on the NGC shop. This coin uh, is a gold coin Gold was £342 per ounce in 2002, using that 15-year example that we used earlier. 
the cost of this coin would have been around $460 at the time of purchase. So over the last 15 years, the value of this coin has increased by over 670% and is now valued at $2,300. But that's not all. There are some coins which are really special and this coin is one of them. This is a John McCanty hand signed coin. You won't know who John McCanty is. He's the finest graver, gra engraver the US Mint ever had. And they loaned him out in 2014 to the Australian Mint. And he did this design for them for this coin. So he sculpted this and engraved it before it went to pressing. And he signed about a hundred of the certificates in ink, actually hand signed them. And I was able to buy this coin in 2014 for just a shade over $280. Today, that particular coin with the hand ink signed uh, certificate is valued at over 4,800 pounds. So in the last four years, my coin, my MS-70, which uh, I, I show at the meetings, has increased by over 2,000%. You can buy one of the facsimile ones, the printy signature ones for about $600, but the hand signed ones, because there's only 100 of them, they're very rare, very collectible, and they will keep going up in value. Um, which is a great return on a coin that I paid $280 for at the point of mint issue. So yes, these coins really do increase greatly in your value if you buy the right things, and that's where Mint Builder comes in. Here's another example. This single old coin sold for a record-breaking $960,000 last year. And previously to that, the record was $881,250 in January 2017. So these coins can increase greatly in value over time. It is also a fact if you bought one coin per month, one specific sort of coin, starting in 1985, today you would be the owner of a coin collection of about 390 coins worth in excess of 2.2 million pounds. Just think about that. You spend a limited amount of money every month over the last 25, 30 years and it converts into 2.2 million pounds. And that limited amount of money would have been about 100, 100 pounds, something like that. Um, and I've got the actual figures from the, the US Mint book about how that works. One of those coins is actually worth over 20,000 pounds. And there are other five figure coins in that period that were bought at the point of issue for a very small amount of money, but are now worth a lot of money because of their rarity. Let's talk about Brent Pogue. Um, Brent Pogue was uh, a property dealer uh, got out of property uh, some years ago, uh, about 27 years ago, and started collecting uh, graded mint coins. And over 24 years, he spent 1.3 million of his own money putting a collection together. That collection sold last year in the US for $228 million. There's a YouTube video about it, um, which you can go and dig out. So clearly, you know, there are some people out here who understand what graded mint coins are. So the question I have to ask you is, are you still thinking that it's a good idea to save for the future by putting paper <clears throat> or money into the bank? Do you still believe that this strategy will deliver real wealth for you? So that's why we say that you need fine graded mint coins as part of a three phase strategy to generate that long term wealth. And yes, you can make short term quick gains on bullion and many of us do, um, but a bullion coin over time will never increase in value the way that a Grady coin does. And they're a bit like an, a life assurance policy. If you bought a life assurance policy today and try to sell it in two or three years, you might even lose money against the money you put into it, or you might break even. But if you sell that insurance policy in 15 or 20 years time, or even 10 years time, you will make far more money on that policy. And Grady coins are exactly the same. Like all the best things in life, they need the necessary time to grow and mature. So they're not a quick thing. If somebody says to me, you know, if I buy a Grady coin this week and I sell it next week, I go stop right there. You shouldn't be buying Grady coins. You want bullion. And that's why it's important to know what you should be buying for what part of your strategy. So if somebody wants a liquidity strategy and a liquidity strategy only, Grady coins isn't for them. If they want that full strategy where they've got short to medium term liquidity and long term real wealth gains in those coins, then graded coins is really where it's at. And I've been collecting for nearly 12 years now, uh, graded coins, 
uh, and I've got a very, very large collection of them, and I'm very proud to have that collection. Mint Builder delivers gold and silver bullion and graded fine mint coins directly to you. And the question you must be asking, well, surely it must be better to put it in the bank or somewhere safe. You know, why would you want to hold physical precious metals in your own hand? Well, remember these? Northern Rock, Bradford and Bingley, Alliance and Leicester, HBOS. You know, I think it's great with HBOS that they failed spectacularly to the tune of hundreds of billions. But all the, all the banksters got their, uh, got their bonuses. And did you know that when you put anything into a bank or a safety deposit box, uh, and you sign for it, effectively you're handing over the title to the bank. So they don't have to recompense you, which is why if you'd stored any gold or silver in any of those banks and they'd gone down, you would have been robbed by a bank robber, also known as a greedy banker, because they wouldn't have had to pay you back. So guess what they would have done? They wouldn't have paid you back. So that's why uh, I live by the mantra that if you don't hold it, <coughs> you don't own it. Okay. The most effective way to save is to automate your savings activities. Okay. There's a great book called The Automatic Millionaire by David Bach. And it says this, people who automate their financial life build financial security. If you start at a young enough age, you can become a millionaire. I've spent nine years at Morgan Stanley managing hundreds of millions of dollars for individual investors. And what I got to see from first-hand experience is that unless it's automatic, it's not getting done. What's automatic gets done. And that's, this is what Mint Builder helps you to do by allowing you to join something that we call the auto saver. Okay. This is a great plan that we have. I've been on this now for nine years and I would never, never not be on it. What does the auto saver do? Well, we say collect one beautiful and collectible fine silver graded mint coin every month delivered to you for just 102 pounds. It's about $142 every month. Uh, the, the price may fluctuate a little due to the dollar pound fluctuations. Okay. However, why not be become a valued mint builder preferred customer and you could save even more money. So instead of the coin being 102 pounds, it's now 90 pounds 50. So you're now saving 11 pounds 50 on that coin. Okay. Same fine mint coin, better price because you're a member. So now, that graded mint coin every month is delivered for just 90 pounds and 15 slight fluctuation on the dollar may change that a little, but it's around that price every month. And just look in the first three months, you can save over 30 pounds on those coins just in the first three months. Saving with fine graded mint coins is very, very interesting. They're fascinating, beautifully crafted and sometimes rare. They're educational teaches adults and children things they won't learn at school about money and finance and culture and how banking system works and all that sort of stuff. So they're really, really valuable in that sense as well. And they're great fun. They're sociable. They're a talking point they, and you can make new friends while building wealth. Uh, it's a fact that I can go to one of any set, one of 76 countries in the world and I, I can stay with people who've become friends through this kind of business through network marketing. And Mint Builder is currently in 26 countries and expanding across the world. Okay, so we're not just you know US, England. We're we're all over Europe, Australia, other places, uh, Canada, uh, and there's some new countries coming soon as well. And for over nine years, fine graded mint coins have been the automatic wealth building tool. Remember that automatic wealth building tool of choice for thousands of Mint Builder preferred customers, so that they can protect and build their family's wealth. So, what's the best auto saver strategy for you? Well, we say it's bullion coins and bars for your short to medium term and fine graded mint coins for your long term strategy. So, we recommend you buy at least one ounce of bullion, silver bullion, per month and buy your graded coin every month uh, as part of your auto saver. Well, what's the cost of becoming a preferred customer so that you can access the best prices on fine graded mint coins and bullion? Well, it's $199, which at today's exchange rates is about £142. Again, the, the price may change very, very slightly due to the US dollar GBP price fluctuations. But as a preferred customer, there is no contract. There is no minimum order quantity. There is no commitment to the auto saver should you not want to do that. And there are no long-term commitments. But you do get access to all the member-only prices that we get both on bullion and on the graded mint coins. And the best thing of all, you can either pay by card 
or you can pay for that membership with Bitcoin and you can pay for the products, the bullion and the uh, graded coins with uh, Bitcoin, which is why it's such a fantastic thing for um, people such as yourselves who've got Bitcoin and don't know how to transfer it out into a tangible asset. Uh, and Mint Builder itself doesn't charge any fees for receiving the Bitcoin. Okay, so that's that's great. But do you actually, are you better off by being a, a preferred member? Well, let's just look at that. Um, how much can you really save? Well, on the left column there, you can see that if you're not a member, it's not going to cost you anything to join. But your total monthly cost on one graded coin and one ounce of silver would be £121.10. You're not saving anything because you're not a member. You're not getting the discounted prices. But let's say you spent £142. Your cost of your graded coin would be £90.50. Your bullion coin will be £12. Pounds 94, give or take the, the silver fluctuations. So at today's prices, you'd be looking at 103.44 for exactly the same order. So you have a monthly saving of 17 pounds and 66 pence. So how does that translate? Where's the saving? All right. Again, on the left, you're not actually saving anything because you've got no saving, and you've got no membership. So your total annual saving is nil. Whereas we saw earlier, you're saving. 17 pounds and 66 pence a month by being on the preferred customer membership. So overall across the year, 12 times 1766 is 211 pounds 92. Now let's take out the 142 pounds uh, membership. You're still 69 pounds 92 better off as a member with that same order. So that's almost like three more ounces of silver or another graded coin free. And because of Mint Builder's buying power, the more you buy, the cheaper it gets. And that's great, but are Mint Builder really competitive on bullion as well as fine mint graded coins? Show me a comparison. Well, all right, we all, we've all heard of bullion by post. Um, and currently their cost of the 2018 Gem BU Britannias, we always compare exactly like for like. Currently they're at 19 pounds and 63. Uh, they don't charge for shipping. And so they're inclusive of VAT price is 196 pounds and 30 pence at bullion by post. Our cost on the same coin, exactly the same bullion coin is 13 pounds 86. We have a little bit of shipping, 698. So our total cost is 145.58 for 10 of those coins. So we're actually saving you 50 pounds and 72 pence on five ounces of silver. So we're saving you five pounds an ounce off any price you can get in the UK on a single order of 10 Britannia bullions. The best thing about Britannia's, if you don't know, is that they are capital gains tax free. So if you buy them today at, you know, uh, 20 pounds or whatever they are, um, and you sell them 10 years down the road, and bullion is at 50 pounds, there's no capital gains tax, which is great, which is why I buy Britannia's um, uh, quite a lot in my bullion orders. You say, yeah, okay, that's fine, but that's just one product. But it's really competitive. You've got to do much better than that. Show me another price comparison. Well, that's all right. Let's look at Atkinson's. Atkinson's are one of the oldest bullion dealers in the UK. Been in the Birmingham Jewel Recorder for a long, long time. So let's take a, what we call a, a one-ounce sunshine bar. Their price is £17.53. They have, don't have any shipping, so they're inclusive of VAT price is £175.30. We charge twelve ninety eight for the same bar. Bit of shipping, so our VAT and inclusive price is £136.78 delivered to you, so you have a total saving of £38.52. So on those bars, we're saving you £3.80 an ounce on the, uh, on the price. That makes it really, really competitive. So by becoming a preferred customer, you can get fine graded mint coins and bullion at much better prices than anywhere else. And best of all, you can pay in Bitcoin. Let's just think about that for a minute. Imagine you wanted to convert 10,000 pounds worth of Bitcoin out into fiat currency, into paper money. I feel pretty sure you'd pop up on somebody's radar somewhere and they'd want some tax dollars off of you. Whereas this way, you're converting that cryptocurrency out into a tangible asset. You're just buying a product. So you're not going to pop up on anyone's radar. Okay. So that's a great way to convert your 
cryptocurrency gains out into something tangible that is going to grow in value as well. And that's why so many people love Mint Builder so much. The prices, the ability to buy with Bitcoin, and the fact that they ship it directly to you uh, and the auto saver, the, the auto saver in there. Warren Buffett, one of the world's biggest investors, one of the world's wealthiest men, he says, do not save what is left after spending, but spend what is left after saving. Very, very important. Well, most people, going back to that Saturday night, they tend to spend first and then save after. I don't do that, and I know that other people don't do that. We save first, and we automate that saving through Mint Builder. So every month, that money is allocated to saving and building the asset. You can't get rich watching and wondering. You have to take action. This is from the Automatic Millionaire in uh, David Back's book. Action changes things. Action changes your life. You can't get rich watching and wondering. You've got to take some action. So I'm going to recommend that you take some action today and you automate your savings and wealth building plans today and you join our auto saver plan today and you need to get back to uh, Adrian uh, for that and he will guide you and show you how to do that. Okay, because this is Adrian's call. So that kind of concludes the part about the, uh, the product and what Mint Builder does and why it does it. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at the income opportunity uh, that we have with uh, Mint Builder. Uh, and I'm conscious that we're going to run to an hour, so I'm going to keep cracking on and keep going, if that's okay with you guys. So let's have a look at the income opportunity. Mint Builder allows you to get to financial freedom and beyond. Uh, I am very, very blessed and lucky that I've been with Mint Builder a while. Um, I have a fabulous, fabulous income from this business and uh, you know a great lifestyle that it affords me. Um, and even if I had none of my other businesses, I'd still have a fabulous lifestyle. Thank you to Mint Builder. And it's a fact that in Mint Builder, some people are already getting free access to the preferred customer prices. They're getting free access to the grading mint coins and they're getting free gold and silver bullion, okay? So they get this stuff for free. And it's also a fact that some people in Mint Builder are earning amazing incomes from, the, from home and using some of that income to get brand new cars. Uh, in the small picture there is one of our leaders there, Adam uh, Demora, uh, over in the USA uh, recently, a couple of months ago, bought himself a brand new Mercedes AMG. Um, I'm the global uh, leader in the business, top of the network. Uh, I recently bought um, an £80,000 BMW um, with my income from Mint Builder. Um, and as it says on my registration plate, I got this car for free. Ask me how. And people do, especially when I take it to the guys that clean the cars. They always say to me, you know, lovely car boss, how did you get it for free? And I give them my card and I have a conversation. Um, so Mint Builder affords us a really nice lifestyle. And the question you're asking is, all right, how? How does that work? Well, that's what I'm going to explain to you now. In our earlier segment, we saw how Mint Builder offers an incredible way to save for the future. We also saw that Mint Builder can beat any price. And the question is, how can Mint Builder be so competitive? Well, it's all down to how we distribute our products into the market and how we find new customers. In a traditional distribution model, there's a manufacturer, a wholesaler, a distributor, a retailer, and eventually the end customer. And everyone down that chain of all the supply chain is making their cut. They're adding cost to the product. So that by the time it gets to the customer, it's 71% more expensive than it was on the manufacturer on average. Okay? That's why retail prices are always bigger, far increased than wholesale prices. Okay? We don't have that model. We have a different model. The mints around the world, such as Perth Mint, West Point, San Francisco, Royal Dutch, Royal Mint, they produce the coins and they ship them straight to Mint Builder. We buy them directly from the mints. And we have a network, a global network of independent affiliates such as myself. And those independent affiliates introduce new customers and new affiliates to Mint Builder. So we cut out the middleman. Okay. And we pass that saving, that cost saving directly to the customer. And there's also enough left in there to pay commissions to our affiliates in an ongoing fashion. And we pay them for finding the customers who buy the Mint Builder products. So it's a win-win situation. It's actually win-win-win. It's win for the company, win for the affiliate, win for the customer. 
Our affiliates simply show others in the same way that I've shown you today, how to get more from their savings. And that's how they enroll new preferred customers, perhaps just like some of you are going to be in the room. And just like you, our affiliates are ordinary people who are able to earn extraordinary incomes, just like some of the people in the room. And I have to say, MidBuilder is not one of those networks where just a few people are making lots of money. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, if not thousands of people in MidBuilder that are earning $500 a week, $1,000 a week, $3,000 a week. There's great growth in this business and lots of people are earning money. And by cutting out the middleman and utilizing our global network of independent affiliates, MidBuilder is able to bring you these amazing products and services directly to you, no middleman. And many of you may not know, but Adrian is a Mint Builder independent affiliate. You know, and Adrian's not a silly guy. He's a very, very smart guy. And that's why a lot of you are on this call. Adrian saw this, he saw the benefits, he understood it, and he said, that's for me. And, I, and he's become a, a Mint Builder independent affiliate. Because like he said earlier, he's now looking to diversify some of his Bitcoin out into other things, including tangibles. And he sees that this is the way to do it. And you're here because, you know, you expressed an interest in learning how to get much more out of your savings and obviously converting some of your Bitcoin out. But just think about it. How many other people do you know that would want to do exactly the same thing? I.e. get a much better return for their savings and perhaps use Bitcoin to facilitate that. And that's what we do. That's what myself and Adrian do. We, we simply show others how to get more from their savings by not putting it in the bank, by diversifying into silver, and some gold and letting the money left in the precious metal do the work. And just like you, many of our affiliates started out as preferred customers, simply looking for a much better return on their savings. And just like you, many were looking for a more profitable alternative to the put paper money into the bank model, which we now know doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And like you, they attended a presentation like this and saw how simple and effective our autosaver plan was and joined Mint Builder as a preferred customer. Just like you, they were invited to take a look at building wealth by saving in silver by someone like Adrian, who was already a Mint Builder uh, independent affiliate. So how do Mint Builder affiliates earn income by showing others how to get better return on the savings? How does that work? Okay, we're going to breeze through that now so that you have an understanding of it. But remember, we use a unique business model that allows us to cut out the middleman. And we don't have warehouses, showrooms, delivery trucks, retail stores, employees, or expensive advertising or anything else. We're always squeezing the costs. And this means that Mint Builder has more margin than traditional businesses. So we can keep prices very low and pay commissions directly to our affiliates, meaning we have a business that provides value, creates profits and success for the people that are involved in it. It also means that in addition to being an amazing way to save and build your family's wealth, Mint Builder is also a fabulous home-based income opportunity. So how do our affiliates earn money? Well, we have two product ranges, just two, gold and silver bullion and fine-graded mint coins. Okay? Gold and silver bullion, fine-graded mint coins. That's it. And we have two types of customer. We have a retail customer. This is John. He's a retail customer. And we have a preferred customer. This is Simon. He's a preferred customer. And we're going to hear from John and Simon a little bit later. Retail customers do not pay an annual membership fee. Anyone can be a retail customer. They don't get any access to our cost price bullion. And they don't get member pricing on our graded coins. I will say, though, even our retail prices, the prices I quoted you earlier in those examples, were not our best prices. They were our retail prices. So how much do you think cheaper do you think it's going to be if you're uh, a preferred customer and all retail customers buy from a shop that belongs to an affiliate an online shop it's provided for you as uh, as an affiliate so John buys from a shop in fact he bought from Simon's shop and when John bought a bullion uh, from Simon's shop um, an amazing thing happened which I'll tell you about later Preferred customers, they pay the 199 annual membership. That's the 142 pounds I mentioned earlier. They get access to the auto saver. They get access to cost price bullion, member pricing on the graded coins, and they buy directly from Mint Builder. This is Simon. He's a preferred customer. He's smart. You want to be like Simon. So let's look at this. John bought a silver bullion coin, and John paid the retail price for that coin. 
which is still better than the retail price on people like William by Post and Atkinson's. John bought his coin through Simon's shop because John's not a member. And when John bought his coin through Simon's shop, Mint Builder paid Simon a retail commission. Okay? And that varies on the products, but there is, there's retail commissions to be had. So, for example, if somebody came to your uh, Mint Builder shop and bought a monster box of, box of silver, it's about 500 ounces, you'd make about $500 retail commission off the top of that. So there is some good money to be made uh, in the retail commissions with Mint Builder, okay? And you keep 100% of the retail commissions. They belong to you for your customers that you personally introduce. But remember we said there's two types of customer. Simon is a preferred customer and he bought a fine graded Mint coin. He paid less as a preferred customer because he bought it directly from Mint Builder, okay? Through his own online shop as a preferred customer. Remember, Simon's smart. You want to be like Simon. And when Simon bought his coin, Mint Builder awarded him something called Mint Points. Okay, When graded coins are sold anywhere in the team, Mint Points are awarded. And later on, we're going to see how they convert into commissions for you. Okay. What I want to do is I want to show you our quick four-week fast start plan. So how you can get into profit in 30 days or less with Mint Builder. This is you. And in Mint Builder, you have a left team and a right team, okay? Week one, you introduce your first preferred customer who goes onto your left team or your right team as you want it, but we'll say left team for here. And for that, for introducing that preferred customer, Mint Builder will give you 100 Mint points. Week two, you introduce a second preferred customer, this time on your right team, okay? And again, you've got another 100 Mint points this time on your right team. So now you have two preferred customers, one in each team. And they decide to become affiliates because they can see that there's some money here. Now, they start to tell their friends, and in week three, this affiliate adds this preferred customer to your left team. And again, you got another 100 mint points. You didn't do anything, but because your affiliate that you'd introduced, introduced a uh, preferred customer, you've got another 100 mint points. So now you've got 200 points on your left team. And in week four, this affiliate on your right adds another preferred customer onto your right team. And again, you didn't do a damn thing, but you earned another 100 mint points for the activity in your team. And now you have 200 points on your right team as well as your left team. And when you have 200 points on your left, and 200 points on your right team, an amazing thing happens. Mint Builder pays you a commission, which is a right result. And you're saying, all right, so I get how someone earns the mint points, but how do they convert into commissions? Good question, glad you asked it. Well, once you've got 200 points on your left team, these are deducted. And once you have 200 points on your right team, these are deducted and they're combined. So you've got 200 left, 200 right. And that then converts into a $200 commission, which in old money is about 150 pounds, give or take the uh, US dollar GBP price fluctuations, generally about 150 pounds. So every time you have 200 points on your left and 200 points on your right, these are combined to create what we call a cycle, okay? And every cycle is worth $200, okay? So if you had 400 left, 400 right, that would be two cycles. That'd be $400. The points are deducted and they're converted into $200, which is approximately 150 pounds as we saw earlier. And as your team grows, it creates more and more and more cycles, okay? Because you get paid on all the activity in your team to infinity, okay, forever. And you can cycle a maximum 60 times a week with Mint Builder, okay? 60 cycles a week. And at $200 a cycle, that's $1,200. You can make $1,200 income per week with Mint Builder. In some cases, that's more than people earn in a year. 
Okay, but you can do that in one week. It's about eight and a half thousand pounds a week in English money. So the question you must be asking is, well, how many people do you actually need to build an income with Mint Builder? Well, remember this is you and you've got a left team and a right team, a preferred customer on the left and a preferred customer on the right. Two people, two people are all you need to get your Mint Builder business going. Adrian's already off to a flying start. Once each of those are on the auto saver plan, this is the start of your team, okay? And your team will grow and grow and grow. I currently have about 5,000 people in my team as of today. So, who do you know? Do you think you know just two people who would, number one, like to get better results from their savings, but also may have Bitcoin that they want to get out into tangible assets? Who do you know? I'm sure if you sat down and thought about it, you probably know two people who would want to take advantage of this. And the question is, do you think they would know two people who would like to do the same thing? I'm pretty sure they would. Most people know two people that would want to take advantage of this. Mint Builder is a business in a box, okay? All Mint Builder affiliates get a professional website and that's been continually updated and improved. You get your own online shop, which is con products are being added continually Prices are being updated continually. You don't have to do any of that. You get a full management back office so you can check your commissions, track uh, your members, track your growth, track your team, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, all the orders are handled for you. You don't have to deal with the orders. People just go to your website, they buy, and it's handled for you. All the payments are handled for you. You don't have to set up any credit card processing or anything. You don't have to handle the money. All the shipping is done for you. It comes straight from Mint Builder, straight to your customers. You don't have to touch it. So you have no stock holding, none whatsoever, okay? The only stock you ever need to hold is the stuff that you buy for yourself, the gold and silver and graded coins that you buy for yourself. No stock holding whatsoever. And we're about to uh, bring this uh, into play. This is our new Visa debit card. It's a chip and pin card, branded design. Uh, you can use it in shops and online, anywhere that has the Visa sign. Uh, it's a Visa debit, which is very important. You get your own dedicated e-wallet to manage this. It's like a bank account. It's a great talking point, and it's an amazing promotional tool because it will have on it uh, your name, John Smith, and underneath it says it will say, is making a mint. So John Smith is making a mint. Great way to open a conversation. So that's on its way. Um, it's in production right now. And importantly for this audience, Mint Builder is a fully Bitcoin-enabled business. You can join as a preferred customer with your uh, Bitcoin, $199. You can buy the products with Bitcoin and you can even get your commissions paid back to you in Bitcoin should you so desire through the e-wallet system. So this is an absolutely fabulous way to convert cryptocurrency into real tangible assets, okay? Mint Builder pays daily commissions. Commission cycles are calculated on a daily basis and added to your back office account for immediate withdrawal to your e-wallet. Okay. You can be up and running in less time than it takes to make a cup of coffee. You could be already talking to people. As Adrian said, we've got a, a meeting in Luton on Wednesday. We've got a meeting the following Monday in Gatwick. There's meetings in Guildford's coming soon. I'm sure we're going to be doing some in Cardiff where Adrian uh, is based. Uh, and... Manchester, Birmingham, Nottingham, they're all coming. So you can be up and running in five minutes and get the jump on everyone else and start getting people into your mint builder business. And the best news is it's incredibly low startup costs of just $199. Imagine if you had to go out and build your own business and get a website done and find stock and payment processing and all that. You couldn't do that for $200. You couldn't. It's about 150 quid. Try starting that kind of retail business with 150 pounds. Just doesn't happen. But here's the good news. Remember Simon? We said Simon's smart. Simon joined the Autosaver plan. That's why he's a preferred customer. And if you join the Autosaver plan along with Simon, guess what? You're already a Mint Builder affiliate. Okay? Because our preferred customers who are on our AutoShip program are affiliate enabled. So there's no extra $199. You pay $199 once, get on the AutoShip. That's it. You're an affiliate. Okay, so it's really inexpensive. And as we saw from the earlier diagram, 
you can get that $200 back within the first 30 days. Oh, and I almost forgot. Affiliates can get bullion and find mint coins at member pricing, and you can use your commissions to cover the cost. Okay. So every month I get a very large quantity of graded coins. I get a very large quantity of bullion that arrives at my uh, premises. And that didn't come off my debit card. It didn't come out of my bank account. It didn't come out of my Bitcoin. It came out of the money that was automatically generated by this business. And it didn't take up all the money. I still had money left over. Quite a considerable amount of money left over every month. So I didn't feed it. So in the same way that my saving is automated, my bullion and graded coin acquisition is also automated because I have a very large auto ship now with the company and I just say, send me this much every month and they do. And I don't even, I don't even feel it. It just arrives. So it's effectively for free because it's not coming out of your pocket. It's not coming off your debit card. It's just money that comes to you residually every month, every week, and you can use it for what you want. It's fabulous. So let's just have a quick recap. We've got incredibly desirable products that we know build wealth and security that offer better savings returns than perhaps putting your money into a bank. You know, we cut out the middleman and we can beat any price because of that, like for like. There's no stock holding on your part. All the orders are handled for you. All the fulfillment's done. This is an amazing income opportunity and I'm evidence of that and there are other, plenty of other people in the business that are evidence of the income opportunity. There's a very, very low startup cost as you've seen, $199 to become a preferred membership with an auto ship. That's it. That's you. Two product ranges, two types of customer, gold and silver bullion, graded coins, retail customers, preferred customers. You can earn retail commissions on bullion and mint points on graded coins, which convert into income. Daily payouts and Bitcoin enabled. And remember, simply by sharing Mint Builder with just two people who want that better return on the savings or who perhaps want to convert out crypto into uh, Bitcoin into uh, tangibles, you could recover your startup costs within 30 days. There are plenty of people that have done that. Adrian's one of them. Don't forget, just bring two people. That's all you need to do. Just bring two people to the opportunity. I don't know that over the last hour, I've delivered a, what I think is a ton of great stuff to you on this call. And you may be feeling that you've got information overload and we are going to do a and a but don't panic. Always remember what Richard Branson said, that if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes and learn how to do it later. I read recently, in fact, in the last week, that when he got into the airline business, he didn't know a damn thing about the airline business. Didn't phase him. He still started an airline because he said, I'll learn how to do it later. Let's get going. And sometimes in life, that's what you need to do. You don't need to prevaricate. You just need to go, I don't understand it right now today, but I can see the opportunity. I'm going to get in. I know Adrian's track record speaks for itself. And if Adrian's in this, it's got to be good. So take action now. Automate your savings and wealth building plans today. Start building your income with Mint Builder today. Join right now. Get back to Adrian and he'll help you. Now, remember Simon. Remember we said Simon is smart. Well, he's smart because he built a team. Okay. And Simon gets paid again and again and again and again because he's got a team. And I get paid again and again and again because I've got a team. And other people in the business get paid again and again and again and again because we've got a team. And we get paid every week, twice a week, which is great. Simon is smart. Very, very smart. You want to be like Simon. You want to be like Adrian because Adrian's incredibly smart. So let's make a mint together. Let's, let's go out there and make a fortune. But before I finish, I just want to tell you about something that is even more amazing. We're running a promotion in May. So this is, this is the time to get involved. Um, I've given you the link to the promotion there. Basically, if you join right now today, you can get involved in this. From here on in to the end of May, you can earn up to a $50 cash bonus on top of everything else for every new member you introduce during May. And I'll just give you the, the, the skinny on it. That if you introduce 10 new people in May, you will get a $50 cash bonus for every new member you introduce right through to the end of the year. 
So there's some real opportunity for some extra upfront money. So imagine if you just introduced those, those four people in the plan that I showed you earlier, you'd be looking at another $200 on top of what you'd already got back out of the business. So there's, there's some real good money in this business. And we just launched this the other day and it's fantastic. And you can go and watch the 10 minute video there that explains how the promotion works. We're calling it show me the money promotion. It's a fantastic thing. So thank you very much for your time. I'm very grateful to you and I'm very grateful to Adrian for letting me have this opportunity to present Mint Builder to you. It's a real pleasure working with Adrian. He's an inspiration. Um, uh, and it's lovely to see someone as successful as Adrian. Uh, and I'm honored and privileged to be working with him. So with that, Adrian, it's back to you. <clears throat> okay, brilliant, Ray. I got that recorded, so um, I can start to use that now for um, for some marketing and some sponsored ads. That's the plan. Um, you know, we had a few people on Facebook Live, and um, you got about 16 people on you now live. So um, let me just check. This is, this is probably a fairly new opportunity to the likes of most of my guys are normally focused on sort of Bitcoin, crypto. So as you can see, I'm, I'm diversifying my stock, uh, my assets from Bitcoin into the likes of silver. Silver is going to be the main focus, obviously more than gold for, for the reasons mentioned. And um, this is the way I'm moving now over the next couple of months, I'm slowly moving my stock week by week, month by month into the likes of silver. Um, I'm going to be acquiring as much silver and stocking as much as I can. Will I just buy it myself, or will I do it, get it free, uh, get it free rather th through the um, through the affiliate program of Mint Builder? So um, I've got a few. Um, if anyone wants to ask a question live, let me know, and I can open up the uh, the microphone and you, you can come and speak live with Ray if you want. That's one way of doing it. If you want to ask any questions live, um, put your hand up on the chat. Or put, a, or put a message in the chat. And uh, I've got a question here already, Ray. Um, we'll come through on my Facebook chat. Yep. How long has this company been in operation? Since how long? Uh, uh, company started nine years ago. Um, had a different name back then, International Silver Network. And yep. we, we converted um, about a year and a half ago. We started the conversion process about a year and a half ago. Um, we knew that we had to bring the business up up to date and, and get into the crypto space because it wasn't going away as you know and we took the opportunity not only to revamp uh the, the crypto thing because we weren't in it we took the opportunity to actually revamp the whole business and rebrand the whole business um and refocus our members on on what we were doing and yeah it's been a it's been a we we have sort of officially relaunched way back in uh, uh october last year and it's been it's been a roller coaster ride since then of new people seeing this and getting involved and uh, yeah uh, great absolutely great and uh, I've known the founders in fact uh, Adrian will attest that just before I did this call with you guys I actually had an hour's call with the founders Vince and Matt who by the way are coming over this year at my invitation uh, again and uh, the opportunity for you to come and meet them uh, we'll probably do. Uh, three or four meetings around the country and uh, yeah um, that would be great so I've known these guys years I go to Florida quite regularly to go and meet with them and discuss strategy and planning um, and uh, because I sit at the top of the network uh, and I do a lot of other things for the company although I'm not part of the company I will stress that um, I'm just very very embedded with them and uh, you know for me it's about working with them to bring this opportunity for everyone and make it the best that, that it can be. So I'm, I'm a down on the ground, boots on the ground networker uh, and have been for 35 years. I've been very fortunate to have built two large businesses, but I'm, I will tell you, I'm not in any other business. I won't get into any other business simply because of this. Listen, there are some great companies out there. Fantastic level marketing companies. 99% of them are involved in consumables. And the problem with that is that once you've, drunk the juice or you've used the cream or the potion you've got nothing you've got absolutely nothing you've got to go and buy some more of it whereas and i always say this if mint builder the company collapsed today i'm sitting on a massive pile of metals i've still got the thing that i started out with so you know as long as they deliver that last point which to date they've always done it'll be fine it'll be absolutely fine and and that's what i love it's it's, 
not it's not a consumable. Nobody gets hurt. I, I think that's something that Adrian said the other day when we were looking. You can't get hurt here because you've got the you've got the precious metals in your hand. And don't yeah. forget for that for that ninety pounds fifty cost every month of being on the auto saver, you, you're not only getting a massive business opportunity that will start to pay for that in no time at all, you're also getting the metal. It's, 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 mm -hmm. As a value proposition, it, it's incredible. You know, I, me, I'd pay one hundred and twenty-seven dollars a month just for the business. Forget, and I'd buy the silver on top because it's that good. But you get the silver in that price as well, so that's great. Let me just um, let me just share my screen a minute, um, just for two seconds, um, Ray. And I uh, just want to show this link. This link that I've set up, Gold Silver um, Millionaire dot com. That's my link that I registered. I I I I, um, I, I recorded that or registered that, that domain name a long time ago. Gold Silver Millionaire dot com. And I've directed it now to this page here, which is you. You get this page. Didn't you? Can you see my screen? Yep. This is you get this as part of the package, the land, the the, the landing page. Anyway, you get this within the um, within the system. Is that right? Yes, correct. So I'm using this to um, to build my list. I, I send this out to everyone in the first instance. Mm. But just explain how this works. Claim your free silver. You got a little. Um, is it a, just a small couple of grams, or is it an, uh, an ounce of silver? It's, it's, a, it's a one gram bar, Adrian. It's a one. Oh, I can see it there. Yeah, it's a one gram bar. And you just pay to get that de de delivered, and um, you can also upgrade further to um, some kind of download from Robert Kiyosaki. Is that right? Yeah, or you can get a physical C uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki CD as well. Yeah. Uh, this is a great way to attract new people to your business because you can promote that you get a free free bar of silver just for taking a tour of the business, um, and then that goes into uh, a back office. We are in the process of updating this and making making this a lot more. Um, social friendly as well at the moment as well so um but it's a great way to promote the business it means you can attract people build your list and then talk to them about the business and as yeah. agent correctly said this is all included they don't charge for this you get this for free and there's a, there's a one minute 16 second sort of um sort of teaser video here then when you put your name and email in and telephone number it takes you on to a second page which is this one and it goes into it more in depth is that right an eight minute video that's right yeah and that, that shows the overview video. And then if they're interested from there, they can either register, in other words, sign up, and it will take them to your sign-up page, or yeah. they can take a survey and claim their free silver. And the beauty, if you go onto that, Adrian, the beauty of that is that this is going to qualify your lead even further uh, by asking them some very pertinent questions, um, such as, you know, are you likely to, uh, are, you, are you seriously looking for home business? You know, what are you interested in? What's your interest level? Are you buying precious metals? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this gives you a real insight into the person um, and if they feel that in. And interestingly, I get a lot of people fill that in. You know, it's surprising how many people do fill it. And I've actually then, I then drop their names into an autoresponder uh, on Active Campaign for me. That's what I do. And then I make a, I make a point of calling them um, and try and follow them up. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Um... With regards to that link you put on the on the last slide of your presentation, that was a generic link, wasn't it? That's, a generic, got, yeah, that's a generic link. Um, it, it, it they shouldn't really go to that, should they? They should go to my link. Uh, yeah, it, there's no, um, I don't believe there's a sign up link on there. Bear, bear with me a minute. Because um, somebody's already gone to that link, looks of it. And, um, let me have a look. Let's have a look. Um, Gerald is saying uh, that his country is, Gerald's in, oh, Curaco. Uh, next. Curaco. Hmm? Curaco or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, Curaco. Yeah, next to her. I'm not sure, even sure where that is. Um, I'm not sure where that is. Uh, I don't think that's a country that we're in at this particular point. Oh, it's the, it's the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Um, yeah, I don't think that's um, a country that we're in. Let me uh, go to the promo thing. I think if they click the link on the promo, it asks for an ID number. Uh, mm. bear with me a if somebody's got if somebody's got family in another in another country which is up and running, they can they can send money from that country, can't they? Yeah, if if they've got family, like I mean, we we have, for example, we're not in India at the moment um, because of the regulations, but we have a lot of Indian people that get their silver shipped to England. Um, yeah, you know, because they've got family over here. So yeah, 
you know, they can do that. Okay. Yeah, on, the other, on the other promo link, they can't sign up without an ID, Adrian, just to answer your question. You can't sign up with the ID, right, okay. Yeah, they need they need an ID, I, your, your ID, which is okay. uh, double, double. Okay, uh, 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 a question for myself. Um, a lot of companies are, are going, they start off and um, then they get shut down. You've got this, um, it's happened right now today, apparently, or, or in the last couple of days, the company, there's, there's a privileged car club in the, in the UK, mm. which is an MLM program, and um, we, we subscribe to a monthly authorship. Mm. And now the FCA, FCA, the Financial Economic Authority, have actually put them on hold or shut them down for, until, they, until they get more regulated or up to date. Can that happen to Mint Builder in any country? Well, I mean, here's the thing. None of us got a crystal ball. That's the first thing I must say. But the company's been going nine years, and we we ship a physical product to twenty six countries. Yeah. And the company is not an offshore company. It's based out of Florida in the USA. It's mm -hmm. registered in the state of Florida. It pays its taxes. And for those people that are in America, Mint Bureau also has a le le legal requirement to report on the gold and silver it ships into the into other states uh, because that's the law over there um over here uh it pays the vat on all the goods that it imports and obviously your earnings that you earn it's down to you to declare those to hmrc here in the uk um whether you do that or not it's down to you but obviously in the uk mint builder has no requirements mint builder um complies with all the regulations in terms of gold and silver importation in every one of the countries that it's in. And that's why it takes time to add a new country because there are legal considerations to consider. Um, so for example, South Africa, we can't go into South Africa because they don't permit the importation of gold and silver unless you're a bank, for example. Um, and there's no way Mint is going to become a bank. So um, we've, We've been around nine years. Uh, we're not going anywhere. I don't know what Privileged Car Club or whatever they were doing. I don't know what they were selling or what they were involved in. Um, but clearly, uh, I think they must have been doing something incorrect for the FCA to be looking at them. Mm. Uh, and, you know, we're, we're not exactly, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not exactly quiet about what we do here. You know, you've seen yourself all the promotion that's going on on Facebook and, you know, the meetings and et cetera, et cetera, uh, around the country. We're not exactly hiding in the shadows here. Um, uh, and I'm sure that within the last nine years, if we've been doing something wrong, the FCA would have got very interested very quickly in us and said, wait a minute, you can't do that. Um, which is why we never make any financial predictions. You'll notice that in the presentation, we don't talk about the future because we're not allowed to talk about the future. All we can say is that historically, if you've done this, this is what you would have got. Um, because none of us can predict the future. And the moment we start talking, which is why you also, we don't talk about investments. We're not allowed to talk about investments because we're not authorized to give advice about investments. Um, and I'm very, very hard on people who use that word anywhere near our business because it's not what we do. What we do is we provide gold and silver bullion and fine graded mint coins. And my personal experience is that my fine graded mint coin collection has increased 529% over the last 12 years uh, as an investment vehicle. That's my personal experience. That's not me making a prediction. That's just what I've experienced. And, you know, I encourage people to do their due diligence as, you, as you've done. And, you know, look at things in, in the cold light of day. Uh, and I always say, look, if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. Um, you know, you look at some of the things that went on in the, in the Bitcoin space, um, you know, USI tech and all that sort of stuff. And the reason they got shut down in America was because they were making predictions. And the SEC rightly said, you can't do that. Uh, we don't make predictions. What we do is, look, here's gold and silver bullion. You can buy it or you can not buy it. And in England, the law is this. You cannot get paid for recruiting people. Okay? And in Mint Builder, there is a way you can sign up free. Okay? Because we have to have that by law. 
but you cannot earn anything in Mint Builder unless a product moves. Okay? If no product is moving, then nobody gets paid. So the only time a commission is generated is when bullion moves or when gold and silver moves. So this is not a Ponzi where people get paid for recruiting people. It, the business is built on how much gold and silver is moving through the business. Like every good network marketing company, you know, like you know, Jeunesse or FLP or whatever, you know, those multi-billion companies, they all, they're all built on product moving. And that's correct and how it should be. And, <clears throat> you know, although there is a free entry method, I, I wouldn't recommend it because it will take you ages to even get to the first rank in the business. Um, but it's doable if you've got a long time. But we have to have it in there because that's the law in the UK. So I, I don't even know how to do it. I'd have to talk to support. So if somebody wanted just to test the product, if they didn't want to come on as an affiliate, just for example, they, they could just, I could send in my retail link and um, they could just buy a, a one ounce yeah. Oh, well, that was sort of $20, wasn't it? Abs absolutely. I've, I've got a number of people in this business who had a trust issue with the company. And so what I said to them, I said, look, go and buy one ounce of silver and see if the company deliver it to you. And if they don't, then you've got, then you've got a just cause for being cautious. If they deliver it to you, there you go. And in every case where I've said that to somebody and they've gone and tested it, as you just suggested, the silver gets delivered. And, you know, they go, oh, okay, well, clearly they deliver the silver. And if you look on my, my YouTube channel, um, you know, I've got unboxing video after unboxing video after unboxing video because, you know, I, I get lots of silver and lots of graded coins every month. And so I've, I film me unboxing them because that's the provenance of what this company does. They ship physical gold and silver everywhere yeah. you, haven't got, you haven't got a one ounce bar there right now to show people or, or a ten ounce bar of you or a, or a kilo yeah, yeah. Bar. if you want me to get a kilo bar out i'll get one out yeah just show the people the difference between, between one ounce and a, and a kilo or, or, yeah, or yeah. Ten ounce. just give me a second yeah brilliant uh, i'll try and find my um my retail link in the meantime just to send people out because uh, for people who just want to test the company and just buy a one ounce bar of silver, they can just get it delivered to their home, you know. And, um... Right, here we go. So, so this is a, can, can you guys see the camera? I can't yeah, see there you go, yeah. So that's, that's a one ounce silver bar. Um, and as you can see, uh, just down by my, I've got, this, this is my overflow stock here. So I've got about, 40 or 50 of those there and a load of Britannias that just came in the other day, which I haven't sorted out. So those are, um, that's a one ounce bar. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do now is I'll get out uh, one of these bad boys and that's a kilo. Is that, can you all see that? Yeah, yeah. So that's a kilo. So there's your one ounce bar. And in terms of thickness, you can see uh, it's quite a, yeah. quite a chunky old thing, isn't it? I think um, one kilo is about 34 ounces, isn't it? About 34 ounces, 34 times? I, I don't know. Uh, you'd have to, you, you'd, you'd know more about that than me. Uh, I just go, it's a kilo. Um, and currently my, you know, I'm, I'm currently getting uh, five of those a month, uh, plus a load of graded coins, plus some, some other bits and pieces. Um, any of the new coins that come in the shop, I'm buying those um, because I want as much of this stuff as I can get. Um, mm. And obviously because... I'm effectively not paying for this stuff. Um, I buy as much as I can, uh, and you know. It's and great. the spot, yeah, and the spot price on silver right now, I think it's either, either sixteen or seventeen dollars an ounce. Imagine being able to buy Bitcoin when it was seventeen dollars an ounce. Yeah, exactly. I'm not saying the same thing's going to happen to silver, but the, the, the experts are saying that silver could easily go from seventeen dollars even up to hundred dollars plus. Well, Keith Neumeyer is the guy that owns the Wharton mine. It's the biggest silver mine in the world. And he's, he's stating, along with Bloomberg, that silver is going to go to $180 uh, in, mm. within this decade because of what's... And in fact, interestingly, Bitcoin is one of the drivers behind it because Bitcoin requires computers that are very, very, very high powered because it just needs computers, all that processing. And on average, in these high powered computers that service the Bitcoin market in the server farms, there's about $48 worth of silver in each one of those computers. So with the rise of the cryptocurrency, the demand for silver has gone through the roof. It was already through the roof uh, anyway, because Bloomberg is saying that by 2034, all the surface silver will be gone. 
because silver is the most consumed metal in the world. It's in, it's in hospitals, it's in, let's talk about India and cars in a minute, it's in cars, it's in solar panels, it's in the sodium chloride they're putting into the atmosphere. It's, it's everywhere. Electronic, every electronic device, a pad, iPad, phone, they've all got silver in them because it is the most conductive thing on the, on the planet. Now, I don't know if you know that under the uh, Kyoto Agreement, China has to produce 2.6 billion solar panels within the next five years. But where are they going to get the silver from? Because there's not a lot of silver in China. Um, they're not very silver rich. Um, and and Keith, uh, Keith Neumeyer basically says that it's because of Bitcoin that the, the, the rise of silver. Now, in the next 10 years in India, they're going to produce, they reckon they're going to produce a billion cars and put a billion cars on the road in India in the next 10 years. But where's the, in each car, there's about 26 pounds GBP of silver. Where are they going to get that from? So the demand isn't decreasing. And if you go and look at the, um, the if you go and look at um, silver.com and look at the stats for the output versus demand, every year for the last 15 years, the demand has far outstripped the supply because the supply right. is going down and the demand is going up. So, mm -hmm. and the thing about gold is that doesn't happen to gold because gold is not, not used in the same way that silver is used. Gold, 98% of all the gold ever, ever mined out of the earth has been stored and hoarded. Mm, right. And, and gold, gold is artificially inflated at the moment. The comets and the Nymex artificially inflate gold. They artificially <coughs> suppress the price of silver. But there is a change coming. People are beginning to realize now, all 51 states in America have passed sound money bills that says when silver gets to the $50 reserve level, they're going to scrap the Fed. And the Fed know this. And, you know, look what happened with the, uh, the, the petro yuan and the, the gold-backed Chinese currency now that Russia and China have created together. It's killing the dollar. The dollar is in the last throes of its life. It's coming to an end. And if you don't think it's happening, well, look at Venezuela, look at Tobago, look at Cyprus, look at Greece, look at Portugal, look at these countries that are failing. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know that today, in Venezuela, the only currency that matters is gold and silver and today in venezuela one ounce coin one of these that there will buy you three months of food in venezuela or a month worth of medicine that mm. okay they don't want dollars they don't want bolivar they want this silver because that's what matters and an ounce of gold will buy you a house in venezuela today yeah one ounce of yeah yeah and what happens when economies collapse, when paper currencies collapse, the only thing that anyone ever goes back to, if you look back through history, is gold and silver. The best book you can ever read is, is uh, the first book that Mike Maloney ever read, which is um, The Guide to Investing in Gold and Silver, because yeah. he, lays, he lays out the history. And, and Winston Churchill said, the further you look back in history, the more you can predict the future. So by looking at the history of gold and silver, you begin to see where it's going. And today, in 2018, silver is the most industrially used metal on the planet. Mm. Bar none. Absolutely bar none. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Uh, just had a, a question in from Derek on the chat, which is quite a co common question. It was a good question. What about the security? As you, as you start to accumulate silver and it starts to get delivered to your home every month, what about security of storage? Well, uh, <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to go into how I store uh, yeah. my, my metals. Yeah. Um, there are a number of ways you can do that. Um, and the best thing I can do in that is relate a story to somebody, um, to Derek particularly. I had a friend, I think I've told you this story before, Aiden. I had a friend of mine who lives in London. His house got burgled. He had over 60,000 pounds worth of silver in his sideboard. And they opened, the thieves opened the sideboard. So they obviously saw it, but all they mm. took was the television and the Xbox. <laughs> and the reason is, is because they don't know what to do with the silver. They don't know how to convert that quickly into cash, which it can be con quickly converted into cash if you know what you're doing. They just yeah. don't know how to do it. And they can't walk into a pub with, you know, five kilos of silver and go, who wants to buy five kilos of silver? Because no, everyone will just laugh at them. Um, I have a number of things that I do to secure my silver. Um, 
kind of not willing to discuss that in a public forum, if you yeah. know what I mean. Um, but if somebody wants to get in a private call with me, um, I'm quite happy to do that. Yeah, um, you can do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and I can also sh show you some of the things that I've done, or explain to you some of the things that I've done mm -hmm. to secure my silver. Um, yeah, we, we, we've talked about it ourselves privately anyway, haven't we? So it's something yeah. that's best to keep privately. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it is, it, you know, it is doable, and you know, I don't have any security risks or worries about my precious metals. And I, yeah. and I, as I said to Adrian in a in a phone call recently, I can touch all of my precious metals within 10 to 15 minutes of leaving this house. Brilliant. Because I won't I won't trust it to a bank or anyone else. Mm. So I hope that answers Derek's question anyway. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. But when you mentioned then about, um, um, which is a common question as well um, from myself, uh, liquidizing the silver, if you want to just get rid of the silver and um, Obviously, I, I'm, aware, I'm aware of what to do, but for the people listening, where, where do you actually take the silver? How, how do you exit? How do you liquidize and cash it back right. into the right. pound? So, obviously, given what we've just learned today, uh, mm -hmm. let's talk about bullion first. Um, bullion is very, very easy to liquidate. You can take it to any jeweler, any bank, um, any goldsmith, uh, any number of places, uh, pawn shop. That and will they give you the gold spot price, or, or do they undercut you? No, no. They will generally give you the spot price on the day. They'll generally because silver, silver. I mean, if you've ever watched episodes of the, you know, the Las Vegas pawn shop, there's plenty of people walking there in silver, and he just gives them whatever the spot price is on the day. Um, and pretty much every gold and silver dealer dealer in the land will give you spot on the day. Um, and you know, if like me, you were buying it. I mean, I hope, when I started buying silver when I was buying bullion, I was buying it at less than three pounds an ounce, and so. The fact that spot today is seventeen dollars eighty one actually is irrelevant to me because if I sold it today, I've made a load of money. For me personally, I'm not interested in selling it. For me, it's just a hedge. It's a hedge against the collapse of currencies. Uh, you know, fortunately, I'm wealthy enough to, um, like you, to be not to worry too much about that sort of thing. And mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day, it's just a hedge for me. It's an insurance policy against the volatility of the markets. And it means that my my savings are working better for me in those metals than if the money paper money was sitting in the bank. So that's why I buy precious metals. And I, I actually buy the ratio. I don't know if you know what the ratio is. Currently, gold and silver are about 80 to 1. So yeah. I, for every 80 ounces of silver, I'll buy an ounce of gold. And I always buy the ratio. And that's something that Warren Buffett does. And my attitude is, well, if Warren, if Warren Buffett is sensible enough to buy the ratio, who am I argue? Who am I to argue with a billionaire? So every every hundred pounds you're spending or, or moving out of your bank account, put eighty pounds into silver and twenty pounds into gold. You mean? Yeah, it's a bit. It's about eighty to one. So it, 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 so for every 80, 80 pounds I spend on silver, I'm spending a pound on gold. Oh, sorry, um, eighty to one. Sorry, uh, eighty to one. Yeah, it's eighty oh, to, one. to one. So for every, for every for every eighty pounds I spend on silver, I'm buying a pound. Of, Pounds mm. worth of gold, so that's that's the spread at the moment. And, and you know, gold is gold is all right. It doesn't excite me very much because it, it's just a hoarding metal. That's all it is. Where it's it's silver, where where the big gains are. You know, that's that's for me where the big gains are. And mm. you know, all the all the pundits, Robert Kiyosaki, Mike Maloney, all those guys, Jim Rickards, they're all saying that 2018, 2019 is the breakout. That's yeah. when it's still going to shake loose and run. So now is, and it's creeping up. It's just creeping up. Now's the time. Now's the time to get in. Imagine if the silver price did go from $17, what it is now, it's creeping up slowly now. Imagine if it did go up to even $34, that's double in value. Yeah. And, you know, imagine for, for some big investors, they want to, they, they, they go into this for like 100000 even a million dollars, and they double their money. It's, it's a big thing, isn't it? I mean, if it did go there, I'd be selling vast quantities of my, my, my bullion silver very quickly then I'd sit back and wait for the price to crash again and buy it all back mm. and do it. And that's what rich people do. They do, the, they do these cycles that they, they'll buy it when it's cheap and they'll sell it when it's high and they'll buy it when it's cheap and sell it when it's high. And all they do is wait for the market to accommodate them. That's yeah. what they do. And that's all I'm going to do. is just wait for the market to accommodate me. I'm, I'm well positioned now because of the amount of bullion and graded coins that I've got. The graded coins are a different proposition for me. Really, mm. they're for me, they're, they're a legacy thing. So I, I'm never going to sell them. 
Um, and, you know, I've had some of those coins 10 years now. Um, so they're well part, you know, they're well into their sort of prime area. Um, you know, and if I live another 20, 30 years, God willing, um, mm. it's a legacy for my wife. You know, uh, and I've, I've also left some to some other members of the family that I want to look after. And if they sell them as a collection, you know, in 20 or 30 years time, they're going to be worth millions. But for me, I actually just enjoy collecting them. Um, it, uh, it's about the collection for me. Uh, in fact, I've got one of the cases down here. Hang on. Yeah. I'll see if I can put this on camera. The case you brought along to the last meeting, isn't it? In Luton, wasn't it? The case. Yeah. Uh, so there we go. And I'll just kind of. I've got six or seven of these. Um, I don't know if you, uh, you guys can see that, but there's. Um, and I have cases full of graded mint coins. Um, there's four or five trays of these in here. Um, in fact, while I've got you here, I think the coin that I mentioned earlier is probably out, oh, bloody hell. Yeah, you, need to, you need to lift it up a bit higher. We can't see the case. Yeah, no, no. all right. I'm just, um, uh, so there's, is that, is that better? That's better, yeah. That's better. yeah, so that's, that's one of the cases. And there's four or five trays in this case. Um, but interestingly, um, you may remember the coin that I mentioned earlier, uh, the, um, mm. the McCanty signature. There it is. Yeah, I can see um, it, yeah. And as you can see, you can see the McCanty ink signature on the back. Um, you can't buy that coin for anything less than £4,800 sterling these days um, with the original ink signature on. You can get the ones with the printed signature on, the copy signature, for about $600. But even that's a good return on a two hundred and eighty dollar coin four years ago. So, but that's that's the pride of my collection at the moment. Um, and there you go. There's just so that you can see it. There's one of the Thor coins uh, that we showed earlier. Um, and I have all sorts of coins uh, from all over the world. This is an Australian Ultra Cameo. This one's got um, opal in the centre, um, so it's covered in opal. Uh, that's a nice coin. So yeah, lots and lots and lots of coins. Uh, and I'll never stop collecting them because for me, the, the thrill is in the collecting of them. Uh, and that's, that's the bit that I enjoy the most. Um, I, I'm just a natural collector of things. So, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to want to move there. If anyone wants to ask a question, I, I could probably go one more question to, to finish off. Sure. If anyone wants to ask a question. Um, does anyone want to, want to ask a question live while I've unmuted everyone? If not, I'll go back to my final question. Is anyone got a question? Uh, doesn't look like it. Lots of messages coming in. Um, right, okay, just two seconds. I'm going to mute everyone again. Has anyone got a question before I mute, uh, mute everyone again? Um, right, um, let me just bring Ray back in. Right, yeah, Ray, okay, um, lots of questions have come through on the chat, which we've answered anyway. Yeah, been recorded. My, my final question, which is um, just remembered. You mentioned about the, uh, which is very important for me actually, that from a couple of games point of view, you, you mentioned only the, only the Britannia coins. Yes. Is it only the Britannia coin or any other coins as well? No. At this moment in time, the only coin that is capital gains tax free mm -hmm. is this coin here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. That's that's a Britannia. Um, we call it a Britannia because it's it's the every mint around the world has a coin which they they mint and it's kind of their standard coin. So for America, uh, if I can just find one in here, uh, uh, let's have a look. I'm not sure I've got uh, American coins. Uh, no, there's a Sunshines. Um, every, oh, there we go, there we go, uh, there's one. So every country, every mint mm -hmm. has a coin which it mints as standard. So in, Amer in Britain, it's the Britannia. That's the, the, the standard issue, one ounce round from the Royal Mint. And that's um, up, the, up the road from where I live, isn't it? In South Wales, the Royal Mint, isn't it? The main is in yes. yeah, yeah, that's that's the one. So they're minted just up the road from you. Um, and 
when uh, up until five years ago, the Royal Mint never minted a 999 pure mint coin, a pure silver coin. They were always 925 sterling silver, which means it's not pure. It's got 0.75 alloys in it. But they saw the sales of their coins going through the toilet because of this coin, which is the US uh, Liberty uh, dollar, uh, or what we call an eagle. The reason it's good, it's got an eagle on the back of it. Um, people were buying these. So the Royal Mint decided, sort of had a meeting and said, well, how can we, how can we cash in on that? So for the first time in its 284 year history, the Royal Mint started minting pure silver coins uh, as a standard issue. And this since started, when? Since how long? Since when? Uh, just over five years ago, they started. Right. Now, the only way that they could attract people to buy this and not this was to make this capital gains tax free. Right. And that's why I buy them. So why do I just why do I, I why would I want to put a million dollars of my own money, say for example, into any gas if it's, if I have to pay capital gains tax if it doubles to two million? Why don't I just buy a million dollars worth of those coins and pay capital gains tax free? You could do that. Um, I think the Royal Mint uh, or any supplier would struggle to supply you with that amount in one go. You could probably do that over a period of time without any problems. Um, yeah. But I certainly, but I, I buy a mixed spread of things. Um, because, I mean, bear in mind, because these are Royal Mint coins, these are going to be slightly more expensive at the front end than, say, uh, one of these, what I call the... Uh, um, yeah, well, this, how, much this you talking of per, how much are you talking of per ounce? How much? Because time you off, offset the capital gains tax in, the, in five, ten years' time, it's a massive thing, isn't it? Surely. Yeah, it is. I mean, don't get me wrong. I buy a lot of these. I buy a lot of these. But I also... I also buy a lot of silver in quantity that I get at such a good price now that it makes it worth buying like the kilo bars uh, and, and five kilo bars that I buy and I can't buy kilo bars and five kilo bars from the Royal Mint because they don't do them so you know I, I'm buying coin I buy Canadian maples I buy eagles I buy buffaloes I buy sunshines I buy liberty head dollars I buy um, Austrian Philharmonics, I buy Somalian elephants, I just buy everything, Australian kangaroos And you pay tax on them when you sell them wouldn't you, a couple of kings tax and pass them well, on to your family Well I, I personally won't because I'm not sure but you know, so it's just a relevant argument to me, right. um, but you know for people who are based in the UK I think buying Britannians is a good strategy um, because they are capital gains tax free um, so I hear you and I agree with you that Buying Britannias, if you're based in the UK uh, and you're not offshore, um, then great strategy. Buy Britannias. Yes, they are slightly more expensive at the front end, but you're right. What you save in the capital gains down the back end uh, more mm -hmm. than compensates you for that upfront cost. So, how much is a one ounce Britannia? Do you know right now on, on, with, with Mint Builder? A one ounce? Uh, uh, as a member price, yeah. You can go and have a look. Uh, member price, here we go. Uh, Uh, Britannia 2018 Britannia uh, $20.67 that's, uh, that's, that's a good price yeah so that's, that comes in at uh, what's that work out it's, uh, I've got xe.com here so if we go $20.67 USD into GBP that gives us uh, 15.28. Right, okay. Okay. So, yeah. So it's not that much above the spot price, is it really? $20? No, 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 it's a few pence. It's a few pence above the spot. So it's, you know, um, wh where we really, really win, as I said, is that once you start getting into volumes, into fives or tens or whatever, with Mint Builder, the price just plummets because of our bulk buying deals. Right. So I never buy single coins from Mint Builder. I'm always buying in, uh, I always buy in twenties or forties or sixties or hundreds. Um, mm. or, uh, but when I started out, I was buying, you know, five, tens, um, you know, whatever I could afford at the time. Um, but now I just buy, I, you know, I buy in, in big quantities. I tend to buy the tubes uh, quite a lot. I don't know if anyone in the tubes. Hang on a minute. All right. Yeah. 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 
There we go. So if I get this box out, which is full of silver. So um, this is a tube of uh, 20. Uh, we had trouble opening this the other night, didn't we, Adrian? All right. Um, let, me, let me see if I can open it this time and get it. There we go. Got a knife on it. So in there, there are 20. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, there are 20 uh, silver eagles. Um, and I, I buy these both in the single tubes of 20, but I also buy them in the monster boxes of 500. Um, because obviously, like anything, the more you buy it in bulk, the cheaper it becomes. You know, the economy of scale kicks in. And obviously there. But I also buy other, other coins in bulk. And those are 20 uh, of the uh, Liberty Head Dollars. Uh, but as you can see, I've not broken the seal on these yet. Um, so they're, they're in there. Um, and they come from um, Medallion Mint in San Francisco. Uh, and I get a good... Th these are cheaper than these. But I, I, I buy these because in the minds of people who buy silver bullion, the Liberty Eagle seems to have a higher perceived value. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. It just does, so I tend to buy those, but I also buy the cheaper ones as well. So, I, you know, I buy a complete, you know, mix of things. Um, you know, there's some gold. Uh, I buy gold. Uh, that's, that's a one gram bar uh, of gold. Um, mm. And again, you know, I buy uh, sun, sunshine bars of one ounce. I buy five ounce bars. I buy, I've got one in here. I buy... Um, <clears throat> that's a uh, sunshine 10 ounce bar of silver mm -hmm. uh, I buy those um, so you know as you can see I buy a lot of varied stuff um, and the reason that I buy varied stuff is because um, I read a book once um, by Jim Rickards and he said actually what you need to do is you need to buy as much divergence as you can and you need to buy things from little one gram bars right up to five gram or 12 kilo London bars um, because if the currencies collapse, if it goes that way, you want what's called fungibility. Want small units that you can change as cash, but you also want larger lumps that you can smelt or center smelt. So the other thing that I do do, which may surprise you, is I, um, I go to a lot of boot sales and I look for pre-decimal coins. because a lot of pre-decimal coins are about 90% silver. If I can find a bag of pre-decimal coins that are at the right price for like a five or something, I'll buy them. Um, and then eventually I'll save them up and I'll send them to a little place down near you um, who smelt them all down for me. And I get, you know, an ingot of silver out of that. Um, and interestingly, the guy that smelts them, he takes a little bit off the top of the silver. He skims it. And that's where the frame comes from, you know, skimming off the top. Mm. Um, it's quite an interesting thing. So, uh, yeah. So... Uh, so I, I buy it wherever I can get it, <laughs> you know, just wherever I can get it, I can buy it. But, but there's, buy it. A of, there's a lot of UFIS bullion or, or, gr or coins yeah. or, so or, uh, or gritty coins. Yeah, silver, silver. I'll tell you another thing. This will interest your, your, your crowd quite a lot. Um, very occasionally, you find uh, there's quite a few people on Facebook Marketplace selling, selling silver bullion. Yeah. 95% of it is overpriced because they think it's worth more than it is. Occasionally, you find somebody who's selling it undervalued, very occasionally. Uh, I had a guy about five months ago near me who sold me 10 of those, and I was paying four pounds an ounce cheaper than if I'd bought them through Mint Builder. Mm. But I've only ever bought two or three things through Facebook marketplace like that, but they are there if you go hunting and looking and you're prepared to keep looking and stuff like that. You can get a deal now and again out of Facebook marketplace. Um, but the problem with that is also is, you know, do you know what you're buying? So for example, if I go and buy scrap silver, I always take scales and a, and a silver testing kit with me, you know, which you can buy cheap on eBay for a tenner. Um, um, some people get offended when you put their coin on the scales and weigh it, you know, and then test it for its silver purity. But I'm not going to buy silver unless I know what I'm buying. I'm not going to buy silver from a stranger and hand him, you know, pound notes for something that I haven't tested and, you know, tested the, 
the, the veracity of. So, no. um, yeah, so I'm just very cautious about what I buy. And that's the beauty of buying from Mint Builder is I know that what I'm getting is genuine. I absolutely know it's genuine because, um, you know, I have over the nine-year history I've been with them randomly tested things that they've sent me. And it's never, never, ever been anything but what they've said it is. So, yeah. uh, you know, I buy with complete confidence. And, you know, they wouldn't have been going nine years and, and if they hadn't been doing it right. So, that's so, brilliant. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, um, I'm really glad we got this call done. It's um, coming up in two hours, but um, it's definitely yeah. worth and it's recorded. And um, I can pass this on for years to come as, as I, as I <laughs> tend to build this, as you know. It might be worth more than one of my coins one day. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, so what we'll do, um, Ray, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll give you some feedback when I catch up with you over the next Thank few you. days how things are gone. Yeah, right. um, I'll uh, see you on um, Wednesday now in Luton. Is that right? That's exactly right. Yeah, 7 p.m. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. And we're at Gatwick on Monday yeah. the 14th. Um, okay. Yeah. And we're looking to do Guildford on the 22nd. And then obviously mm -hmm. you and I need to talk about Cardiff. And I'll, I'll okay. talk to you on, uh, on Wednesday about uh, how we set it up and all that sort of stuff so that we can, that perhaps I can yeah. come over to Cardiff and do one over there. Okay then, so um, if, if any of you could make it in the UK, uh, Luton, that's where I'll be next um, Wednesday. next Wednesday, this, this coming Wednesday. I'm going to try and get there an hour before this time, at least if you want to catch up in the bar for a drink before yeah. it all starts. Does it actually start at 7.30, is that right? Or set, or it, start, it starts at 7.30, but we, we kind of like to get everyone in by quarter past seven so that we're settled and ready to go. Yeah. Okay then, Good. brilliant, Ray. thanks for all your time. I really appreciate it. And, um, I'll catch up with you soon. Brilliant, thanks mate, take care. Hi everyone, all the best. Bye now.